Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy King Mo. Welcome back to another video. In this video here, we're going to be doing a foot fantasy uh, tier list. So if you guys are interested in this type of content, then please do leave a like. I'm nearly at 700 subscribers as well, guys. So if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy the content and you find yourself you're not subscribed, then please do leave a subscribe. I'm so close to 700 subscribers and I would like to also hit 1000 subscribers soon. Um, so I am going to be doing a giveaway and hopefully I'm going to be doing a face reveal as well when I hit 1000 subscribers. Um, so if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. If you choose to unsubscribe in the future for any other reason, then it's free and you can do so. Um, but just for the meantime, you might as well subscribe if you guys are here. I appreciate all the love and su support as well and my streams and my videos. You guys have been going crazy and I appreciate every one of you for tuning in and, uh, you know, spending your time watching me. I really do appreciate it. But into the video, guys. Um, we're going to start off with a uh, tier list. So as you can see here, we've got Valde Keita, who, um, you know, I don't really think he's necessarily the best player in the game. I think I'm going to put him in a decent tier because he's not, like I said, he's not the best player in the game. Um, in my opinion, I think there are other players that are better than him. But if he does get the plus three, he will be good. Um, John Stones. John Stones looks like a fun card. He has good pace as well, and he will be getting an upgrade because he did get a clean sheet. So, um, yeah, I think John Stones will be a good player to have. I don't know how good he is compared to um, the other centre-backs in the Prem. Also, uh, Tonali. I have Tonali in my team, or in my bench, sorry. I've used him in my, like two weeks ago or a week ago. He was really, really good. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily say he's like top-tier meta, centre-mid. Uh, Nani. I think Nani again, he plays for a pretty bad team, so I don't think he's going to get a lot of upgrades, unfortunately. Also, his sprint speed is very, very low, so I don't know how usable he can be. Obviously, he can be very, very usable because he has the 5 star, 5 star, and he has good shooting and passing and dribbling stats, but the pace is a bit of a sticky one. Simon, Simon's not as good as he was in the last couple FIFAs, so I don't want to put him in the decent tier, in my opinion. I played against him yesterday in Elite Division and didn't really cause any trouble for me. Um, his finishing is not that good. His dribbling is obviously amazing. I think he'll be a better super sub than actual starter. Uh, Jimenez, I'm going to put in fun tier as well because I think, like, a, like I think Atletico are definitely going to get a clean sheet because they are a very, very defensive team. So I think he will end up getting it. Now, uh, Alexandro. Now this is a bit of a weird one, guys, because Alexandro plays for UV and obviously UV are not as good as they were before. So I doubt he's going even going to get a clean sheet. To be honest, I'm going to put him in a decent tier because I feel like if he does get a plus one at least or plus two, he will be decent. But I don't think he'll be any better than that. Uh, Audrey Zola. I think I'm going to put him in awful because just in terms of physicality, um, he's not necessarily the best right back to use. I think Di Lorenzo is still way better than him uh, from the same league. Rusilion. I'm going to put in. Uh, it's okay I guess I don't think he's great I think he does need a lot of upgrades to be able to compete with the best left backs in the game uh, Atal is definitely going to be a top tier for me I think he's probably one of the best right backs in the game apart from Hakimi and um, just sort of off the top of my head Hakimi and maybe headliner Cancelo that's about it um, Inaki Williams uh, I'm going to put him it's okay I guess because his, his dribbling stats are pretty bad and his weak foot is pretty bad as well. I know they have boosted it a lot on this card compared to his um, record breaker, but I don't think he's that good. Van der Beek, I'm going to put in decent. I think if Van der Beek does get some upgrades, he will be quite usable. But as of right now, I think he's just decent, to be honest. Uh, Jose Saar is just awful, to be honest. It's a bad card. Um, yeah, Bamba. I think Bamba's a fun card. I don't think Bamba's as good as he was last year. Last year, Bamba was very good in game. Uh, this year his rule breaker wasn't that good and then this card is still also right Gelson Martins um, Definitely top tier for me uh, if he gets the if he gets the plus three guys He's gonna be the best right mid in this game by far by far him and Sancho probably but yeah Three star week for does ruin Gelson Martins as well. So You know it is it is a bit you know it's a bit weird but um rashford as well is going to be a uh, top tier now him getting the plus three that's a bit of a weird conversation man united did draw um against leicester yesterday so yeah uh sissoko is definitely top tier as well i think he will get a couple upgrades it just depends if he can get a goal um or assist in the five games but he will definitely get the appearances um say maximum Definitely, definitely top tier as well. Um, one of the best strikers in the game. And he is very, very expensive. 3 million, 3.5 million. Uh, Klosterman, 
again, Bundesliga just have these quick centre backs, and I don't know why because every year Bundesliga just have the best defence in the game. Um, but yeah, Klossum is definitely up there. He's definitely he's already going to get an upgrade, which is very very good. Um, Kaliguri, I put him in fun. I don't think he's top tier, but he is a fun card to use. Obviously, if he gets if he gets the plus three, it'll be a different story. Uh, Antonio, Antonio is just okay, I guess. I think I don't think he's necessarily the best player to use in this type of game. This type of game involves a lot of dribbling, um, you know, a lot of quick players, good with the ball. He's not really that type of player. Um, Coutinho, now Coutinho, I think in my opinion will get the plus three. It's just a matter of time, but uh, yeah, Coutinho for me is top tier, 100%. He has potential to be one of the best, the best players in this game. Um, speaking of best players in this game, Osman Dembele, I think he already, even if he doesn't get any upgrades, I think he's already the best player, one of the best strikers in this game by far. Uh, Martinelli is a weird one. I think I'm going to put Martinelli in fun for now, but Martinelli, in my opinion, if he gets the plus three, he will end up being in the top tier category in my opinion um now this is the center back from leverkusen i can't really pronounce his name but center back from leverkusen i think he's fun as well I mean, if he does get the plus three guys i think he will have a very very good card competing with the best core is down there for me lacelso i think he's also in the, also in the bottom tier um it's just there's nothing special about his card i don't know why he's even like you know there's no really put really having a point of bringing out a card like that this time of the year lucas definitely top tier martial low low work rates ruin him unfortunately he has potential to be one of the best strikers in the game or wingers in the game but unfortunately he does have low low work rates so his wild card is still better than this card unfortunately kamavinga having my team and he is unreal uh this is the silver uh fantasy foot so i'm just gonna put him in awful anyway uh, Pedro, I don't think Pedro has anything too special with his card, so I'm just going to put him in it's okay, I guess. I don't know how usable Pedro would be in this game. Um, Perisic, I'm going to put him fun because he, you can actually play him as a centre mid, especially if he gets the upgrades. I think he will be a good centre mid, box to box. Rodrigo, I'm going to put in decent. He's one of those, you know, like cheap, good strikers. Um, Sirugo, I'm going to put in, I mean, in awful. And Vertonghen. Now Vertonghen actually has a decent card, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to put him any higher than it's okay, I guess, because of his um, his country and his uh, league that he plays for, plays in. I think it's kind of hard to link him. So um, yeah, guys, this is what the tier list is looking like. It it, it does look quite top heavy, which suggests that this is actually a, a pro quite a good promo in terms of usable cards. Uh, definitely one of the best promos we've had in terms of usable cards if you guys did enjoy this video then please do leave a like uh nearly at 700 subscribers so do smash the like button and subscribe post notification bell to see when i go live as well and i appreciate all of you guys for the support i'll catch you guys in the next video and peace out